Humanoid robots have been promised for decades, but progress usually came in small, isolated steps. This past week was different. Across China and the United States, robots crossed multiple thresholds at once. Delicate human-level manipulation, natural interaction, consumer demand at scale, and real replacement of skilled labor in factories. These were not lab demos. They were live events, real sales, and active production lines. Today on AI Run the Show, we're breaking down the moments that show embodied AI has entered a new phase. It starts in China. On December 22nd, TAR Robotics revealed a humanoid robot performing something no humanoid had ever done before, real hand embroidery. On stage, the robot threaded a needle, coordinated both hands, controlled tension, and stitched a logo live in front of an audience. This matters because embroidery is extremely difficult for robots. Soft materials deform, stretch, and resist unpredictably, and a single mistake can ruin the task. Traditional industrial robots are built for rigid, repeatable actions, not long, delicate, two-handed work. The robot completed the entire sequence smoothly, maintaining balance, visual tracking, and real-time force control. This was not just motion, it was embodied intelligence operating as a system. TAR Robotics CEO, Dr. Chun Yalun, explained that the company uses a data, AI, physics trinity, where real-world data, model training, and physical robots are connected in a continuous loop. Their AI is trained on general physical skills, balance, coordination, force control, and vision under uncertainty, rather than single tasks. A key factor is the small digital to physical gap, allowing what the AI learns in training to transfer reliably into the real world. As more data is added, performance improves across many tasks at once. What makes this especially notable is speed. TAR Robotics was founded on February 5, 2025. In under a year, it moved from concept to live humanoid demos many experts believed were still years away. Investors followed quickly, with $120 million raised in an angel round and another $122 million in an Angel Plus round. While this was happening in China, a different kind of milestone appeared in the United States. On December 23rd, Figure AI CEO Brett Adcock shared an unscripted video interacting with the company's latest humanoid, Figure 03. The robot answered basic questions, identified where it was built, stated that it belongs to the third generation, and correctly handed over medium and large shirts from different baskets using visual recognition. Figure 03 runs on Figure AI's Helix model, which tightly integrates vision, language, and physical action. Viewers quickly noticed a 2-3 second delay before the robot responded verbally, highlighting an unresolved challenge in humanoid robotics, speech latency. Despite this, Figure 03 represents clear progress. Released in October, it is lighter than previous versions, has a softer exterior design to reduce injury risk, stands about 5 feet 6 inches tall, and is built primarily for household tasks. It shows improved agility, including running, uses wireless charging through its feet, and operates for roughly 5 hours on a full charge. At nearly the same time, embodied AI crossed a major consumer milestone. The robot dog is fully autonomous runs 128 tops of on-device AI compute, processes LiDAR and depth vision locally for privacy, and uses high-torque motors capable of towing up to 100 kilograms. Battery life is around five hours, with support for wireless charging and fast USB-C charging. Public beta testing is planned for January 2026, with deliveries starting in March. The sales spike is widely seen as validation that consumers are now willing to buy embodied AI at scale. While consumer robots were selling out, humanoids were quietly replacing workers in factories. CATL, the world's largest EV battery maker, launched what it calls the first large-scale humanoid robot-powered battery production line at its Luoyang facility. The humanoid robot, Xiaomo, was developed by Spirit AI and now handles end-of-line battery testing tasks that previously required skilled human labor. Xiaoma uses an end-to-end -end vision language action model, allowing it to handle flexible wiring, adjust force in real time, and operate safely with high-voltage components. In production, it achieves over 99% success rates, matches human cycle times, and delivers nearly three times the daily workload while maintaining consistency. Looking ahead, 
one of the most iconic humanoids is about to return to the spotlight. Boston Dynamics, backed by Hyundai Motor Group, will debut Atlas in its first live public demonstration at CES 2026. Hyundai plans to position robotics at the center of its future growth, backed by roughly $34 billion in AI investment and plans for large-scale robot manufacturing in the United States. And that's where things stand right now. From fine hand embroidery to household interaction, from consumer robots selling out in minutes to humanoids outperforming skilled workers in factories, embodied AI is no longer theoretical. It is deploying, scaling, and integrating into the real economy faster than most people expected. Thanks for watching AI Run the Show, and I'll see you in the next one.